Eddie Butler. Wow, what can you say about Eddie Butler other than uh, certainly one of the greatest baseball players to ever play at Radford, one of the great athletes that we've had here. Eddie, congratulations on the Hall of Fame. It's very well deserved. And we felt really good about the team that we had and, and we were excited about what he was gonna bring to, to our team to help us, help us get better and, and, and help us win. One of the best players, if not the best player that's ever played at Radford University. The one thing I just you know, could not wrap my head around was how you know, the rest of the team, we'd all try to get in into bed at a reasonable time, but, you know, Eddie, he'd stay up till three, four in the morning drinking Red Bulls, eat animal crackers, and he'd go out the next day and throw a nine-inning shutout. And I just, like, couldn't understand that for the life of me. It didn't make any sense. You know, we learned early on about Eddie and his, uh, his ability, um, his potential, um, and, and you saw early on, obviously, in his career that he had the makings of, of being, being really special. Eddie took the ball every week for us. There was only one time that his, he had an appearance and game started and he only had one appearance that was not a game that he started. And that was the first time he ever pitched in a college uniform. Uh, I remember a game uh, in the spring, it was late in the season, we were having a really good year. Um, you know, baseball games can be really long sometimes, you know, three hours, four hours. Well, when Eddie Butler was on the mound, that game went by in about two hours. He came out, I remember one time we were long tossing down at the rugby field and he stood behind one goal post, threw it through the other goal post, landed up in the parking lot. I mean, it was like 420 feet. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I never saw anybody else do, but I saw Eddie do. He's a different personality. He's a, he's a fun-loving kid, uh, guy that uh, loves baseball. And he loves being around people. He loves having fun. He likes the things that he likes to do. So one of the, the crazier things I remember about Eddie from his freshman year, you know, there wasn't, wasn't a lot of stuff Eddie couldn't do. And I think we were at Gardner Webb one weekend and we were walking out of the hotel, it's just me and him. We, I think we were headed to the Sonic, was next door. And he looked up and there was a, a mezzanine canopy as you pull under in most hotels. And the column was about off the hotel wall, maybe three feet. And Eddie looks over and he says, I can climb that, you know, and it's like 15 feet to the top, maybe 18 feet, it's way up there. I was like, no, you can't. He said, yeah, I can. I was like, prove it. So of course, he was gonna prove it. And he walks over and he starts just scaling the thing like Spider-Man. And I'm videoing it. And about that time, coach and BA and the other coaches, they walk out of the hotel and they're like, what are you looking at? Because I'm sitting here like this. And they look up and, and Joe's like, Eddie, get down here. So instead of climbing down like a normal person, he just drops and lands literally like Spider-Man just walks off. And I'll never forget one afternoon, um, I think he went the full distance and he was still throwing 97. Um, just a great, great pitcher. He wasted no time in the, on the mound. It was at that time that I realized, you know, he's not like most people, man. Physically, this dude can do a lot of stuff. Um, and that definitely translated to the mound because I saw him do, you know, he threw nine, nine inning shutouts. He went the complete distance multiple times. I don't think I ever, ever played with anybody at RU or in summer ball or even, you know, growing up that could pitch the way Eddie did. Congratulations, Eddie. We're excited for you, man, and uh, appreciate all you've done for, for Raffer Baseball. Congrats to Eddie. Uh, thank you for all your contributions to the baseball program. Uh, congrats to making it to the Radford Athletics Hall of Fame. Congrats to being a Major League Baseball player. Congrats to being a first round pick. And congrats to being a, a special human being and a great person. Not only was Eddie a great baseball player, he's a great pitcher, but he was a great teammate. He was a better friend and he was a great person. Um, Eddie, congratulations on the Hall of Fame. We wish you the best. It's very well deserved. But his legacy at Radford is tremendous. He was uh, one of the greats and he is so deserving to go into this Hall of Fame. And Eddie, we're so proud of you and thankful for your great contributions to Radford Baseball and Radford Highlander Athletics.